in the time travel, what's been sort of your favorite period to go back to? Well, we've only just started, really. So we we've we've stayed quite close to to where we are to where we are now. Uh, like we go back to the seventies, which is quite it's been quite a lot of fun. Um, that was a lot of fun. We got to go to like a uh, this. It, like just every, every well, I like all the detail of the the costume and the props and the, our our design team is so specific on this and so good. Like they've really recreated uh, some great some great time periods. When they go back in the past, um, for the characters that are older, do they have to like avoid meeting their younger self? Is that sort of well? There's all those there's all those perils of time travel. You know, that, that this, which is you know it's been explored kind of throughout literature and. On films and television for you know for such a long time, but yeah, what happens if you meet yourself? What happens if you meet people who are related to you? Uh, you know, we we dip into all of those things because I think those are the the kind of the important things to to watch out for. And I think those are a universal time travel um, conundrum. Um, yeah, and how like the the. The big thing is, you know, how much of the past do we change? And you know, Rip's job really is to keep the 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 proper timeline constant, the, keep the true timeline constant. And, uh, a few things happen, which which might put a few, throw a few spanners in the world. Now, uh, we noticed last night when we visited the Flash set that yeah. Barry's big crazy uh, chalkboard is missing. Rip had something like that in the comics. Are we going to see Rip's oh. crazy chalkboard? Oh, I don't know. I'm definitely going to suggest it because I think that's a, that's a great idea. Where's this chalkboard gone? Uh, we're not sure. Oh, wow. It's just not there. Uh, with these new characters coming in, we know where some of them are coming from, but how are we going to see Rip sort of enter <coughs> into this world and what are the motivations that kind of first bring him out? I think, it, I mean, I think it's kind of surrounded by mystery, really. Um, he's got his own motivations, which you'll kind of find out later on. Um, but ostensibly, the the world has come to a disastrous point, um, and it's got to a point where Vandal Savage has got, gained so much power in the future that it's 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 impossible to to sit to, to sit by and do nothing. Um, so he's very much when we meet him, kind of in a mode of wanting to solve a problem um, and feels like he has the right plan to do that. I, th I kind of describe it, I think he expects this series to last one episode. So he expects to kind of, to get them, go back in time, sort it out and be done with it, go home and live a, live a happy life. And it doesn't quite go according to plan. Who's the most disruptive out of the team? They're all pretty disruptive, like I'm not gonna lie to you. It's quite a ragbag bunch of people. Um, it's amazing when you get this, and it's kind of amazing as an actor to work with all these big personalities as well. Um, you get this bunch of people together on a spaceship that have such, um, like every, everyone has their thing and, and, and everyone thinks that they're right. Um, and uh, they, all, they all clash at, at various points. Um, but you know, Rips, Rips handpicked these people, so he know he's not entering into it blindly. He knows that he, he's done his research. But I think it's a little bit more difficult to keep the team a team than he would first imagine. But I think he really wants to keep it as, as a team. Well, how much is he actually babysitting this team of misfits as the season goes on? And want you them more than you'd want him to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there is a little bit of that, I suppose. I don't know because we haven't got we haven't got that far. I mean, he's not kind of like he's not kind of sitting down and being their like year tutor, their form tutor or whatever. I don't know what you guys have here, but you know, he's not like their guidance counselor. Uh, he's they've got a job to do. Um, but yeah, there's. I don't think he quite, he's not. He's, he doesn't really want to have to deal with all of that stuff, but but has to at various points because you know, the, the cracks start showing in relationships very quickly. You stick any group of people on a uh, you know on a spaceship together, um, trying to save the world, and I think there's going to be there's going to be fights, and people's true tr people's true selves are going to come out um, more than they'd want to. Will we see Rip in the Arrow and Flash crossover? Uh, I don't think so at the moment. 
Um, to be honest, I've got so much to do on this one that I don't know where I'd fit the time in to, to go and do it. So at the moment, no. Um, just a, a question for you on Rip. Do you have a sense, and or will the audience find out, who your parents are? Um, I don't know how far ahead they've planned. I mean, I've obviously read a lot of the comics, and I know the, I know the, the, the deal of, of, of who his parents are and, uh, and all of that. But I don't, you know, as with all of these shows, I don't know how true they're going to stick to it or if they're going to bring that in later on or, or anything. But I hope, you know... Hopefully we've got a long time to, to go on the show. And there's so, the, what's great about having this bunch of characters is there's so much history to explore with all of them. And this is just one adventure. And it, it, we're already really excited about the, the kind of future possibilities of what storylines could, could be. A lot of characters, or a lot of actors that we talk to who are playing characters of beloved comic book characters uh, sometimes say, oh, I don't want to read the comic books because I want to put my own spin on it, but you're a fan of the comics. Do you feel like that's brought something extra special to the role? Oh, totally. It's really, like, because I'm obviously going to put my own spin on it, do you know what I mean? Like, that's my job, um, and that's what I enjoy doing, but I don't think you can ever know too much, and I get, I get the idea of not looking at it, but... I think for me, Rip's been depicted in such different ways through in in the kind of history of the comics, and and actually none of them are very close to how I'm playing it. But it, I feel like reading my key into him was reading the Vanishing Point comic, which was kind of cool, which I like, and it gave, I, it kind of made me realise I can make him stronger than I thought he was, and it, you know he's he has that kind of action adventure yeah, thing and, yeah, and a, st- a, a, a he can be a leader uh, which I which I'm really interested in I, 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 I like the way he you know he's got Superman and uh, and Booster Gold there to, to contend with him. He, 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 he totally leads the way and I think you know that shows that he can he can he can stand up for himself so, yeah how much are we actually seeing of the team in the ship versus outside in the time traveling universe, and how does that change the dynamic when they're in one place versus the other? Yeah, it, do, it really does change the dynamic because you know you, you kind of let let the hens out of the coop and, and see where they run. Um, yeah, I mean, in the ship they can be contained, but that that proves difficult because you know tempers tempers rise, and then outside the ship you don't know what they're going to do. So uh, you know it's a lose lose situation at certain points, but. Uh, Hilarity ensues.